Hi. This instructional video is about finding the area of the shaded region. Finding the area of the shaded region. So, oh, I had nothing better to do. I'm looking around the internet and then I'm finding out this particular kind of problem is very popular among the viewers. They love looking for this little shaded regions. First, find the area of the shaded region in green in this case. I hope you can see that. Go ahead and try it. This one is 7 and this is 10. Start with that one. All right. So this is the way I would do it. First, I would find the area of the total circle, the most biggest one. And as you know, the area formula for a circle is pi r squared. And all you need to find the area of a circle is a radius, and it is given. So this is easy. It's so easy, you spell it with two letters, e, z. That's easy. So here we go. Area equals pi, and the radius given is 10. So that's going to be 10 squared. So when we evaluate the square, that's a 100 pi. And I'm going to leave it at that for now. And that's the big circle. So let's do that for the small one now. Area is pi r squared again. So pi r and the radius for the small inner circle that is not shaded is a 7. So we're going to evaluate that square as well. So we get 49 or 49 pi, which is a small one. So all you need to do is cut out the small one from the big overall circle. So that's area equals the big, which is 100 pi, minus cut away the small, which is 49 pi. And that's going to give you the total area remaining, which is the outer ring. So 100 minus 49 is 51 pi. That is it. Area, 51 pi. And if you have one of those teachers who insist they want the actual real number, then all you have to do is simply go, they're going to tell you that pi is approximately 3.14. So all you need to do is just go 3.14 times the 51, which is going to equal 160.14 units squared. And that becomes the final answer in a real number sense. Okay? Why don't you try those two? Go ahead. All right. So now, the second one. The big object, the original paper that you see, is a square. It is indicated by this radius that the square sides, the distance radius is consistent throughout the entire circle. So let's find the area of the square. If the radius is 9 units this away, then it must be 9 units that away as well. Isn't it true? Yeah. The radius stays the same. And if that's 9 that away, then the diameter must be double that. So double the radius 9 is 18. And that 18 diameter happens to be the dimension of the square. And if it's 18 this away, then it must be 18 this way as well. And to find the area of a square, you know it's side times side or length times width. So it is simply 18 times 18, which becomes, they become what? Use a calculator for that. 18 times 18, it gives me 324 units squared. Areas are measured in squares. Now, all we have to do is find the area of a circle and cut that out or subtract it from the square. So the area, again, is pi r squared. So that's pi times radius was given as 9. So therefore, area is 81 pi. Unit squared. However, now that we have to subtract, we need this pi a rational number to become some sort of our estimated real number. So we're going to use 3.14 again. So 81 times 3.14, that's going to give me 254.34. So approximately 254.34 units squared. Okay? So now to find the remaining bits of the green shaded area, 
we're going to take that square, which is 3, 2, 4, minus the inner circle, which is not shaded, 254.34. And if I do subtract that using my calculator, yeah, I'm cheating. That gives me area is equal to 69.66 units square bits of pieces of paper remaining that's being tossed away. There it is. Now, did you get that one? To make your life easier, let's assume that this is a 90 degrees. It really doesn't matter, but try it. Go ahead.